Module 1, Historical and Cultural Value Criteria for Recipe Preservation. Content for Digital Materials, Recipe Ingredients, and Cooking Methods. The aim of this presentation is to understand how to choose ingredients for a ritual recipe, starting with the preparation of the physical location for digitalization, the preparation of ingredients, the importance of using locally sourced ingredients, reflecting on the importance of sustainable issues in rural areas where usually ingredients are produced, the health benefits of ingredients, and the cooking methods. Physical place for digitization. One of the first aspects to consider when digitalizing a recipe is the selection of a suitable physical space for the purpose. For a full visual experience, it is preferred to select a space that represents where the recipes were originally made and the heritage. It can either take place in previously existing locations or a space created specifically for that situation, as if it were a scenario. More importantly, it is necessary to analyze whether the scenario gathers the necessary conditions for the preparation of the recipes. In this sense, we should obey the following criteria. Choose a clean environment with the appropriate lights, indoors or in nature. Ensure access to running water and electricity. Select suitable cooking equipment, cooker, oven, good fume, and steam extraction system. Collect the utensils you need for each recipe. Use traditional decorations such as pans, plates, mugs, flowers, etc. Ingredient preparation of a ritual recipe. Another essential aspect of recipe digitization concerns the mise en place. The mise en place is not only a way to organize the process of making a dish, but an essential step for the success of recipe digitization. To prepare the ingredients, we must follow a set of steps. Firstly, check availability and accurate quantity of necessary ingredients. This is usually for four people on average. Secondly, weigh and prepare the ingredients by peeling, chopping, grating, squeezing, or any form that is necessary for the recipe, and then place in separate bowls. If you have refrigerated items, we should put the bowl back in the fridge. Third, check the details of the recipe, such as preheating of the oven and the cooling time, for example. Fourth, place the utensils and appliances on the worktop and finally, distribute the material on the worktop according to the order of use. Importance of using locally grown ingredients. There are several benefits for the community when selecting ingredients that are locally produced. The gastronomic heritage is an important resource for local communities and an element of the culture of the destination. The use of local products due to their quality in the production of local gastronomy contributes to the valorization of local products and to the process of rural development. It will contribute to the local economy development foster community participation and enhance community pride. And as noted in research studies, another key feature of local products is that many of them are linked to the society, traditions, and customs of the region. Thus, it is important to establish the link between the local product and the rural region and to reflect it as a food heritage. Sustainability and Ritual Cuisine Moreover, it is important to reflect about contribution of locally grown ingredients to sustainability goals, which is a global concern. Sustainability is a current trend applied in many areas and have received a great attention from academics, practitioners, international organizations over the past two decades. In the context of gastronomy, it is of great value to understand how gastronomy can contribute to the achievement to the economy, social, and environmental sustainability of rural places as the places where food is generally produced. It becomes even more essential considering that local cuisine as part of the local culture attacks more and more interest from visitors. Some studies examining the role of food and gastronomy for sustainable place development reveal that two dimensions such as place and people are key factors that support a sustainable approach to place development in rural areas. Places are important because they reflect how the economy, ecology, and community interact and provide the cultural and gastronomic tradition, increasing the place's recognition in a global context. People are the key local actors. Farmers, producers, chefs, and food industry providers 
event organizers and managers, and all stakeholders involved in the food system. These people are essential players representing historical and cultural practices, traditional knowledge and skills in food producing, dissemination and preservation. This slide provides information about the benefits of using local products, namely its economic impact on local communities. The use of locally grown ingredients leading to demand for local products in turn will stimulate local agricultural production. Among economic benefits of developing agricultural activities in rural areas are creation of new job opportunities for locals and maintaining people in the countryside from moving to the cities. Furthermore, income sources diversification for rural areas is crucial, considering that usually such places are limited in terms of sources of income. Local products are important not only for economic and environmental sustainability, but also for ensuring human health. Food can be used to promote health. It is important to consider the use of local products in the preparation of various types of recipes. Local products are those that are produced nearby and required a short distribution chain while remaining fresh. Such products are seasonal and are harvested only when fully ripe and suitable for consumption. In addition, we should opt for recipes that allow us to consume foods for varied groups. According to the WHO, variety is very important as the numerous sources of nutrients help us to better perform all of the functions of our organism. The essential foods that should be part of a healthy diet are fruit, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and foods of animal origin. Besides preferring this type of products and to promote a healthier and more balanced diet, it is equally important to take into consideration the quantity used in different recipes. Salt is one of the greatest enemies of blood pressure because when consumed in large quantities, it increases blood pressure and causes hypertension one of the main risk factors for heart disease. The quantity recommended by the WHO is a maximum of 5 grams or 1 teaspoon per day. Reducing salt intake to less than 5 grams per day could reduce an estimated 1.7 million deaths per year. It is also important to reduce the use of certain fats and oils. Some fats can increase the risk of obesity and cardiovascular problems but they can also be beneficial to your health if consumed in small amounts and in the right way. So-called unsaturated fats found in fish, nuts, avocado, soy, sunflower, canola, and olive oils are infinitely healthier than saturated and trans fats, which should be avoided altogether. In recipes such as desserts, it is important to consider reducing the consumption of white sugar. This substance, besides destroying dental health, promotes obesity increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases, generating chronic health problems. As with salt, it is important to be aware that there are many hidden sugars in processed foods. Another type of food with a range of health benefits is organic food. Foods from organic agriculture are grown in balanced soils, being richer in vitamins, minerals, proteins, and carbohydrates compared to industrially produced foods providing a rich and healthy diet. This type of food has superior nutritional and organoleptic characteristics, such as flavor, odor, color, and is produced without the use of chemical products, such as colorings or preservatives. The main benefits of integrating organic food into our diet are that it helps to prevent numerous diseases due to its higher antioxidant content. It contributes to a lower level of oxidative stress in the body and as a result has a lower tendency towards inflammation. In addition, organic foods add authentic colors, flavors, and aromas to our meals, allowing us to rediscover the true taste of food. Ritual Cuisine Cooking Methods and Techniques Widely used cooking methods and techniques are boiling, steaming, stewing, and grilling. Cooking in different ways leads to different results. Moreover, the cooking method chosen influences the taste, color, texture of the food, and therefore the final result. It is therefore very important to determine the appropriate cooking method according to the desired end result to be obtained. 
Knowledge of cooking techniques and methods enables the chef to work with different ingredients, to know their specific characterizations, and to use the proper cooking equipment to achieve a good end result. The cooking method chosen influences the cooking time and nutritional value of the food. For example, frying is one of the oldest cooking methods and its effect on the quality of the food can differ from boiling, steaming, and braising. Selection of appropriate cooking method. When digitizing a recipe, first an appropriate cooking method should be selected and its specific characteristics explored. Starting with the ingredients, their quality and quantity, kitchen equipment and tools. Then all the ingredients must be prepared in advance, taking into account their quantity and sequence. In addition, during the preparation, the ingredients should be listed in order they should appear in the video presentation and the time required to prepare them must be taken into account. Thank you for your attention. We hope that you enjoyed the presentation.